He's mad! What sort of person boots this stuff up? And now, it's time for the Forbidden Forest. The first task is still locked, of course. Yep, now we'll be using Ron so he can look good for once. I know I give him a hard time. Hagrid led Harry, Ron, and Hermione into the Forbidden Forest. He had something important to show them. Was a Hungarian horn-tailed dragon. Did that dragon just scream? Alright, let's see how painful of an experience this is going to be. How likely is it that the sound is coming from something friendly? It's escaping! After it! Alright, I'll just burst that open or something. Don't, do that. At us. Don't jinx it? Well, what do I do then? Okay, I guess that works. What's the purple thing bouncing behind it, though? Okay, so pulling it back and releasing it just... Need to move them out of the way. Yeah, I was just saying that. They just explode. I mean... I think those purple things that appear behind them are targets that tell you where they're going to land. So that's nice. Certainly useful. Okay, once again, I didn't intend to aim for the rock, but now that I've got it, oh, I missed. Does it really matter where these things land? Oh, good, a mini shield. So, as I expected, Hagrid was going to show all three of us at once instead of just Harry, since up to this point we've always had the option to play as one of the three main characters. Eventually, though, that will have to change. They can't have Ron and Hermione running around with Harry during the three tasks, or during the climax of the plot. Shit, I missed. Although, these things seem to be defeated with just a few hits of a jinx. I'm not sure they're dug bogs exactly. They seem a bit larger, I think. Yeah. Yeah, I'm glad all of Ron's power-up cards that I bought for him were for increasing his jinxing power. I think that's already paying off here. Dead end? Er, wait, what now? Okay, that's a dead end, so there must be something else to do back here. Oh, I know, I... Yeah, exactly. So, can exploding pus destroy pus monsters? I might have missed the first one, and I definitely missed that time. Let's see what's over here first. Oh, of course, exoskeleton versions of dug bogs. I'm pretty sure these are different monsters, right? I complained about it the last few episodes. I'm still feeling congested somewhat. These certainly seem to be defeated in the same way as dug bogs. Maybe these are grown up versions of dug bogs, and what we were fighting so far were younger dug bogs? I have no idea. I was hoping the shield would pass in between them, but I guess that would have been too easy. Well, don't walk straight into them, Hermione. What did I just tell you? You're the smartest witch in her class. Use your brain. The lengths the computer will go to to follow the player is incredible. As we saw during the debug episodes of the Prisoner of Azkaban series I wrapped up weeks ago. It was much more fun than this, though. Oh, I should mention, I can't get the Carpe Retractum spell to work anymore for some reason. I'm just standing here and I can't do shit. Ron should potentially be the best at that particular spell anyways, given that he went through the lesson demonstrations in his previous year. Or rather, the previous game. Okay, I'm pretty sure the cauldrons don't do anything against those. I guess they're just plants? 
Oh, never mind. I just really suck at aiming and finally got lucky for once. <sighs> and now Carpe Retractum decides to start working again? I'm glad, but what was the problem with the one batch of pus snowmen from a few seconds ago? I guess I can't even walk over a pus puddle. You'd think they'd have pus-resistant shoes or something, although even if they did, they probably wouldn't ever think to wear them except for herbology. And at least the dragon's fire breath is destroying these things for several seconds. Even if it is otherwise blocking my path with these isolated mini forest fires. Come on, hurry up! My hair is fiery enough already. I'm not gonna run backwards. Yeah, see, he just flew off. So we'll put out this fire and then be on our way. Once we clear the dug bogs out of the way. Where do these things come from anyways? They just pop out of the ground as if they were able to camouflage themselves with the grass. I'm gonna die soon if I'm not careful. Are there even any consequences from dying other than using up one chocolate frog? Oh, well there I went. Just ran headfirst into the fire. And here I come, back onto my feet again. If this weren't a video game where I would expect people to have multiple lives, I would see that reviving animation and probably think for a split second that they were suddenly about to leave this earth for good. Just like the rapture or whatever. Although, now that I'm thinking about it, they probably aren't really dying, just fainting. That was a terrible place for the in-game camera to pause. Though at least it zoomed in enough to get past the obstructing tree branch, but why have that tree there at all in the first place if you're gonna have me stop at that particular spot to battle a fire? Ugh, <sighs> uh, I don't know. Okay, a fork in the road. What should I do? I'm gonna have to pick one way. One direction either way. Okay, good. This is a dead end, at least. So I just have to go back the other way, and that's simple enough. Oh, I really thought for a few seconds I could just run past them without having to fight these dug bogs. Fire trapped me. Yeah, I suppose I could use Magicus Extremos here, but I think it would be better to save it for a later time. Yeah, I'm pretty much done here, and I'm sure they'll take care of themselves, Ron and Hermione with the remaining dug bogs. Now on to the other path. I think something attacked Harry off screen. Damn! Two of those dug bogs just ran into that pus monster and they all exploded. That was awesome. Except I think they all came back just now and the pus thing is back already and I still have to fight three dug bogs anyway somehow. So I got all excited but in the end it was all for nothing. I suppose I could just run around it instead of fighting it. Well, I could put out that fire, but let's see what's further along this path as we run head-on into things, since, again, I can't see where I'm going sometimes because of the camera. Okay, I guess I have to pull the log towards me and use it to walk over the spores or whatever. Oh, come on. Do I have to pull it further to the side or further towards me? Do I have to detach it from the tree trunk completely to walk over it? I don't understand. I'm just getting my shit licked running around in this confined space between the bed of spores and this vomiting snot monster. I don't know what to do. My feet are just sliding around the ground like I'm on ice and I'm not accomplishing anything here. Fuck it, let's just forget about this for now. Maybe I'll figure it out later. I'm surprised I missed that mini shield earlier when I ran by it a minute ago. But you know what? There's no reason for Harry and Hermione to be running into the mucusy monster because any computer controlled character should be able to have enough sense, or rather just quote unquote knowledge, to be able to know that these obstacles are coming up and that they shouldn't run into them. 
I mentioned this earlier in the sense that they can't even walk around a gate sometimes when I need them to follow me, but at least I have an excuse where the in-game camera is a handy cup, and I can't always see what's in front of me. Well, fuck you too, then. What the hell did you run into this time, Hermione? Damn, she's gonna die soon. If all three of us died at the same time, would we all just use up three chocolate frogs and resume fighting as if nothing had happened? Or would dying simultaneously be such a big fuck-up that the level resets itself? Oh yeah, I gotta put out the fire pit too. The salamander is just sitting there like it doesn't even care that I'm destroying its home or birthplace or means of recruiting backup or whatever. Hey, Hermione hasn't died yet. Good for you. Oh, I've got one more fire pit to put out. Oh god damn it, get out of the way, Hermione. Uh, too late. Well, at least we won't be getting any more salamanders anytime soon. Although Harry and I are close to dying as well. Shit, look at me. I've only got six hit points left. I don't think any of these beans are helping me at all. Oh wait, something just gave me two hit points back. I can't remember what restores health and what doesn't anymore. What's your problem? You stubbed your toe on one of the rocks? You didn't even lose any hit points just now, so why shout? Whoa, now. Those two items certainly helped me regain some stamina. I'll need to remember that, but more than likely I'll just forget it all over again. Wow, oh, brilliant. They put an item that restores some health right in front of a flamethrower, so I lose all the health I just gained five seconds ago. Although, I guess I shouldn't complain too much. I am finding a lot of these health-boosting items recently, although Ron is hoarding them all for himself. Hermione died and got restored recently, so she doesn't really need them, but poor Harry isn't getting shit. I swear I heard something that makes me think the dragon might just pop up to the left and... Uh, yep, yeah, there it is. Well, that's simple to overcome, at least. And then the bean just falls away, never to be seen again. When we got to those ruins, I had really hoped that that would be the end of this level, but now I have an army of these? How about no? Can I just run past them? Apparently I can! The fuck is this thing, though? Oh god. Do I have to fight both of them at the same time? Eh, maybe not. Jinx it from behind, though? I didn't get a good look at it. Which side is the back side? And since when did I get 100 hit points all of a sudden? Although I remember now, with the blast ended scroots, it's kind of difficult to tell the difference between the head and the ass. Alright, here we go. Four aiming as usual. Oh shit! That thing took nearly a quarter of my life with just one hit. You better watch out, Harry. Are you serious? It's over that quickly? Oh. God, the Forbidden Forest is like the Hogwarts exterior in that there are additional areas to explore. Shit. Harry decided to warn Cedric about the first Triwizard task. Dragons! That's the first task. They've got one for each of us. Okay, well, that's the end of that. But I feel like a dumbass because I only just noticed this while reviewing the gameplay footage. So that's how I was supposed to get past those rows of mushrooms. Just aim at them while pulling back on those pus snowmen or whatever they were. Unfortunately, it seems that I'll have to return to the Forbidden Forest since it says I unlocked new areas of it, though. No doubt to get more Tri-Wizard shields, but I'll save that for another time.